I've got to ask you one question. It looks so much like a DSLR. Why not just put a mirror in this body and, and make it a new DSLR instead of a Micro Four Thirds product? A Micro Four Thirds product, I guess I should, I should comment, is obviously a mirrorless product. There is, there's no mirror. It is, yeah, that's part of the Micro Four Thirds standard. Right. Yeah. So what, what is the advantage of that as opposed to simply taking this footprint, this body design, and making a, a DSLR with a mirror? Sure. Um, let, let me start by saying that the optical viewfinder system in an SLR camera is, this is a tremendous design. It's a timeless design. It's mm -hmm. been with us since the um, 1960s, and there's a reason for that because it's, it's, you know, it's a what you see is what you get, depth of field preview, focus on, and, and so forth. And it's a very intimate experience to have your eye in the viewfinder and to be focusing and composing as opposed to using an LCD panel. Having said all that, there are some limitations with this analog uh, viewfinder on the traditional SLR, whether it's film-based or, or digital as we have today. By removing the mirror box and making it a purely electronic viewfinder in here, you can really realize a lot of the advantages and features that are built into the digital camera. You know, one of the other um, things as I study this new product from Olympus, this new OMD, one of the other advantages, I think, with the electronic viewfinder as opposed to a, a standard optical viewfinder is the fact that you can actually see the image as it's projected off the image sensor, correct? Yes. So, obviously, if you're making any exposure adjustments, where normally, you know, you would be able to look on the LCD and say, oh, you know, I can adjust the exposure, see it on the LCD. Now, with an EVF, you can see that through the viewfinder without ever taking your eye away, correct? Very much so, and it's a great aid to the photographer. You know, a, a very experienced shooter, you know, you pretty much know what you're going to get when you're shooting manually, but it's great to have that preview. You know, additionally, in very dim or bright conditions, the analog viewfinder has a lot of limitations because you might be able to see what you're composing, but you're going to lose a lot of detail. It's a lot more difficult to manually focus if you have to. With the electronic viewfinder, it's going to automatically compensate in dim or very bright conditions to make it easier to compose and to see what you're doing with your with your control settings on the camera. It's taking, as you said, it's taking advantage of all the the technology that we have to date into a really very sophisticated product that's designed for the way people use cameras. Yes.